Hi guys, we really missed you the last couple of weeks where we weren't able to get our normal video out. One of the big loose ends that we've had to work with all summer is the decks. Um, we chose to have the decks kind of integrated into the house and part of the build because we really wanted covered decks everywhere just to protect them. They're less maintenance, they'll last longer, uh, keep the snow off of anything out on the deck. And the reality is, is that we want to spend as much time as we can outside so the outdoor spaces are just as important. So we wanted the beauty of the timber work that's inside to be also outside in the decks. You know, we started doing foundation and footer work. We had to establish this retaining wall that is part of this deck. Living in Alaska, you have to put all of your foundations below the frost line, which is 48 inches. So we took the excavator and we dug out down 48 inches and then we put down a plastic form that you can just buy right off the shelf and on that, uh, it's basically just a cardboard tube. And what happens is after you backfill and then you pour it with concrete and the ground freezes, the moisture in it causes the ground to expand, it's gonna pinch that, that tube coming up, right? So if you have that big bell footing underneath, it can't heave upwards. So it protects our decks from heaving while our house is stationary. Um, then we just had a concrete truck come and fill up all the tubes and um, we trim off the top of the cardboard so it's all level. So when we go to set our beams, we know, you know we're already at the right height. All these timbers that are gonna be set on top of this, uh, these posts, they have a, an all thread that goes up into the post uh, 10 to 12 inches. And so there's a hole in the bottom of the timber. And that allows that timber to set right over top of that. And then there's a galvanized plate and a nut underneath it in case you ever have to adjust for some reason. But, you know, it's just getting the exact elevation right for your deck. And then from there, it was just time to start flying timber again. It's really exciting because this is the last timber in the yard where really excited to not be tripping over timber everywhere and it's really exciting to see it going up in the final exterior shape of the house happening. So we chose to use tongue groove on top of all the timbers and we just nailed it on with galvanized nails. Once we got the deck all enclosed it's time to actually work on the first floor deck. Um, so we just set ledgers right up against the building so once we got the ledgers on and then we put the Simpson strong tie hangers on, we just drop in the deck joist right into those hangers and they sit on top of the beam on the other side and um, they went really fast. When we did the design for the timber frame of the house, the one thing I didn't really think through was being able to fit a good sized dining table out on the deck. So working on the deck today, Jacob is gone hunting, so I thought this would be a really good time to sneak in a really big change order. Um, how this deck is designed is we're supposed to just go straight all the way down, but there really wasn't enough room for a dining table. So we pulled all the joists there in the middle. We're gonna cantilever them out and add a couple more feet to the deck so we can put a dining table under the big truss. So hope Jacob doesn't get too mad at me. Kind of the general rule of thumb with cantilevering out a deck is you can go about 25% of the length of the board. So we can get about two extra feet out of the deck, which is plenty. And um, we, we decided to 45 it just so it's not like some harsh corner out there. And it's, now's the time to make these kinds of changes because once the decking goes on, it, it just wouldn't even be something to consider. Yeah, I've heard of this uh, change order in the making for a while now, but uh, now that it's done and, and uh, completed, it looks really nice, and I think it'll be a nice place to uh, hang out on the deck with a nice table so we can eat dinner out there. The decks have been done this way. Now we're just transitioning from uh, this deck running this way. Now we're going to run this outside deck here. We're going to run the boards um, this way on the deck. So. To get started, we wound up actually uh, figuring out our distance, overall board length, and uh, figure out our spacing to uh, maintain so we don't have a, a short board on the end. We came along here and we ran our boards long on this one, and we snapped the line all the way down. If you're, if you're good and straight the whole way on the first board, the rest of them are going to work out really good. So we got one more board on the end, and once we get that board on, then we're ready to go, and we can just run our board and our, our spacing in between the deck boards. We got our shims 
and then I'll determine on what, uh, what size spacing. Really easy for uh, putting screws on and keeping them in pattern. And, uh, I got my square marked and lined up with the stud. And then I go, uh, we're doing inch and a half and four. The deck's all done. Your screws are nice in a nice straight line. So when you come out and look at your deck, it looks like a nice finished product. So we're just gonna keep adding board and get this deck all squared away and we'll be good to go. This last piece on. Now we have well, we have the overhangs and the excess that oh, the deck boards run, run along in the deck. And as you can see, I snapped a line here where they need to be cut off. This way you get a nice straight edge with your, uh, your end of your deck. And this is the way to do it. Now you can see that just gives it a nice clean cut, nice straight line all the way down the deck. And, uh, Gives it a nice finished look. All done with our decks, we're just gonna give you guys a real quick tour of the outdoor space. It's kind of the back deck, there won't be as much sun here, but it'll still be very useful. Also, you can see the uh, uh, the prow that Anna wanted in there, and I think it come out really nice. When we just come around, you can see all the timber work makes it look really nice. So that's our decks all done and hopefully in the next video we'll be able to button up a couple exterior things like windows and doors and be ready to start working inside. Yeah I'm hoping windows show up here shortly so we can get this thing tied in because it's getting pretty cold. Um, warms up in the afternoon but we need to really get the ball rolling on, on uh, getting this thing closed in. Okay we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. See ya.